He has been called one of the greatest painters of all time, a master of the brush, a master of light, a master of emotion, His name has become the benchmark for quality, and his masterpieces are treasured by collectors and museums worldwide. His works are unmistakable. Or are they? Rembrandt or not Rembrandt? The controversial collecting of Dutch old master paintings. Rembrandt in America. A production of UNC TV. The North Carolina Museum of Art. The Cleveland Museum of Art. And the Minneapolis Institute of Arts. This program is made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you. Thank you. The images are stunning. Faces from 17th century Amsterdam. Figures from history, mythology, and the Bible. The lighting, the palette, the signature, unmistakably Rembrandt. And yet, upon closer examination, one can see differences. Differences that challenge our understanding of what is and what is not a Rembrandt painting. Dennis and I had the idea that it would be really interesting to do an exhibition devoted to the theme of the American collecting of Rembrandt and what I call Rembrandt wannabe paintings. Looking at the whole idea is, is it Rembrandt, not Rembrandt? Why have thoughts changed on attribution? So bringing that together in a package. But the curators knew that it would be difficult to create an exhibition with enough paintings to make comparisons. Organizing an exhibition is a very complicated affair. <laughs> First of all, you have to get the loans of the best work and you increase your power in doing so if you have a consortium of leading museums. Joining forces for the exhibition were the North Carolina Museum of Art, the Cleveland Museum of Art, and the Minneapolis Institute of Arts. Together, they were able to assemble over 30 Rembrandt paintings and nearly 20 works once attributed to the artist. This exhibition really brings together an arc of pictures from across his career that hasn't been seen in the United States in a very, very long time and is not something that's very easy to do. These are not easy pictures to borrow. It will be the largest group of authentic Rembrandts ever brought together in this country. A lot of people know Rembrandt's name, but very few people really know his art. And this is an opportunity to get to know the art of the man who has spawned that brand name image, which has been applied to toothpaste, video boards, lamps, TV antennas, everything, to come and see what all the ruckus is about. Rembrandt was born in Leiden, in the province of Holland in 1606. Rembrandt's parents were from established families. His father was a miller and had a large mill on the opposite side of the Rhine River from the center of the town, which is why Rembrandt's name is Rembrandt van Rijn, Rembrandt uh, on the Rhine, as it were. 
it certainly believed that his mother was a very devout woman, and that Rembrandt, even as a youngster, was very familiar with biblical stories. He was enrolled at the University of Leiden after he finished the Latin school, but he seems not to have actually attended classes there. He apprenticed with the Leiden painter Jakob von Swanenburg, who was an artist about whom we know virtually nothing, uh, working in a style that categorically has nothing to do with Rembrandt. But even so, he may have still given him the necessary rudiments of artistic training. 